Crypto Lights here back, back with another video guys. We're going to talk about Sphere Finance. We're going to do an update on this token. I haven't spoken about it in a while. Um, but I'm bullish on this project, okay? I wouldn't normally recommend holding a low cap altcoin during a bear market. However, there's just something about this project which makes me think, you know, this one has definitely got a future. And it is risky holding it now because it could go down. Um, however, I believe it's going to uh, stay pretty stable. We'll talk about why in a few seconds. But um, yeah, this one could be a potential winner. Um, describes itself uh, right here as a store of value with forced appreciation. Okay. If you ever get a chance to listen to one of the uh, AMAs by the developer, okay, Simsala, um, or the lead developer on this project and founder, um, I do recommend it because he will explain this project in very great detail. Even down to the point where I've not been a huge fan of the Matic or Polygon network. Um, but there's reasons why they built on the Matic network, Polygon network, sorry. And um, he explains it pretty well. You know, even down to the point that he, he believes that Matic is going to be a dominant, you know, uh, blockchain um, layer one layer two solution on ethereum for a long time to come and um you know uh, uh it makes a lot of sense for them to be building sphere finance on uh polygon okay especially with you know the people that are back in polygon okay they want it to succeed um so i think that you know uh you know put in you know my personal feelings towards it's not even personal you know but just you know my experiences with the polygon network aside where it's been slow cloggy clunky in the past um i think it's a good idea uh, you know when i listen to what the developer says i think it's a good idea for it to be on polygon and you know you're not trading it actively you know buying it and selling it this is a store of value like it says here you buy and hold okay you're not selling it and trying to trade swings and things like that so it's a long-term hold so it doesn't really matter how long it takes for you to actually put your buy order on um, on the Polygon network and things like that. So, you know, I think that you should definitely listen to the AMAs from the developer. Um, he made some very good points about, you know, and, and gives you some uh, good uh, explanations behind his thought process on his project as a whole and why it's built on a Polygon network. But moving on from that, okay, um, this is, it, it started off as a rebasing token. But it is now deflationary, okay, which makes me bullish on this project. Not only that, but um, it is now paired up with USD Plus rather than Matic, okay? It's built on a Polygon network, but they've switched the liquidity for, uh, to Sphere USD Plus. USD Plus is uh, pegged one-to-one -to, -one to USDC, okay, with, uh, you know, serious liquidity. And um, one of the things that Sphere Finance is focused on is providing liquidity, liquidity as a service. They talk about deep liquidity through Dystopia and Penmos, um, two other projects which they've created. And, you know, there's probably, uh, you know, there's probably going to be some good stability in this token. And going back to the forced appreciation, right? So they don't want to rely just on community and people buying um, to get the price of this up. Um, you know, they want to be, they, they want to make, ensure that the price of this does go up. And so one of the ways they've done that is through the deflationary tokenomics, which they've introduced, uh, introduced now. And also, um, the huge buybacks that they're going to be doing, um, along the line. We're not talking about small buybacks, you know, that hardly move the price. Okay. The way the developer explains it is that, you know, this is going to cause the price to go up when they start doing it. And, um, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to that as a holder of the token. So they have created a new uh, dashboard uh, recently. Um, so they've removed the rebases and stuff like that. Like I said, it's gone deflationary and it looks a lot cleaner. And, you know, everything's looking good with this. Uh, market cap's gone gone down over the last couple of days from about 78 million to 60 million. OK, but it's understandable considering the market conditions. If I just switch the network um, you see I've got about 1.5 million tokens, um, which is around $10,000. Okay, so I'm down. Um, I put about $17,000 in this token. And, you know, I'm down from when I bought it before the migration. However, I'm not too worried about that because I believe that, you know, in the longer term, um, this is going to go up. And, um, 
you know, my 1.5 million tokens is going to be worth a lot more than $10,000, okay, especially when you look at the chart, this is a super early chart, okay, um, obviously to do with the migration, we know that there's a bit more chart history than this, um, but, you know, in terms of the USD chart, USD plus chart, sorry, um, you know, this is like a brand new chart, okay, and when the buybacks start coming in, promotion starts rolling in, when the market turns around as a whole, and people start learning what Sphere Finance is, I believe we're going to see a lot of price appreciation and a lot of FOMO into this project, okay? Because I believe that this could be a a top 20 uh, crypto project, you know, very easily if they can achieve everything that they've set out to achieve. Now, their ambition is very, they, they are very ambitious, okay? I mentioned Penrose and Dystopia. They also bought another exchange called Tetu. Now, I have used uh, Dystopia. Dystopia, if you can imagine, Dystopia would be like Curve, okay? And Penrose will be, like it says here, um, Penrose is to Dystopia what Convex is to Curve, okay? So um, Curve and Convex, I think these are top five, you know, um, in terms of uh, total value on um, DeFi Llama. So, um, you know, th that's what they're aiming to do, okay? Um, I made a previous video on Penrose talking about uh, uh, Sphere Finance bringing the Curve Wars and um, that's what they're trying to do, okay? So they want to introduce liquidity as a service and provide deep liquidity. Now, these projects are very low in liquidity at the moment and low market caps, but we're looking at the potential for those to grow. Okay, guys, so for me, I'm super bullish on uh, Sphere Finance as a project, as a whole. Um, you know, everything that you could want from a developer, in my opinion, um, AMAs, the explanations, um, the thought process behind it, the logic, um, you know, the development, the innovation, uh, the ecosystem, everything is there, in my opinion. And, um, you know, I think that this has, it definitely has a future. Um, the branding, you know, everything, the, the look, the feel, everything for me about this one is bullish and I haven't felt uh, this way about a project in a long time. I'm not one of those guys that, you know, um, make a video about his favorite projects every single day. You know, I'm not a maxi on any project, but with Spear Finance, um, you know, I'm definitely excited about the future of this project. I recommend you go and join the Discord community. Um, in terms of their Telegram community, they've downgraded that to announcements only if you were wondering. So if you want to engage with the community, you want to come over to Discord. That's where it's all going down for this project. Stay up to date with the announcements and all of that sort of stuff. I think I've just noticed that two new announcements have just come through. Um, circulating supplies different in... Okay, that doesn't matter. Please give a thumbs up or start on CoinGecko. Oh, it looks like it might have just been listed on CoinGecko. If it wasn't on there already. Uh, but yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, you can see uh, how the chart history began. Obviously, it's got a new chart now, but it went absolutely nuts when it came out of the gate. And then naturally, it's had a sell-off. So right now, it looks like you're buying the bottom of Sphere Finance. Could definitely be a good time. Uh, you know... As I'd take that with a pinch of salt because you never know what the bottom can be in a bear market. This could look like the bottom and it could just go down a lot more further. But like I said, with this one, you're going to be able to uh, uh, accumulate it, dollar cost average in. I think it's definitely a good one to you know start accumulating in my opinion. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just my opinion. So you can let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Um, there were other things that I wanted to say about it, but it's kind of slipped my mind at the moment. I'm bullish on this project in general, okay? And I just wanted to do a video, update video on this, because um, I'm still holding this token. And, you know, I believe that it's going to pay off in the long term, okay? So, uh, yeah, I mean, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tip the little bell for notifications. I'll leave all the links in the description. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. That being said, it's the end of the video. And I'll see you guys in the very next one.